Here we have a Pythagoras' theorem question. Grade C, classic grade C in fact, level 7, national curriculum. Calculate the length of x in the triangle. If you have a right angle triangle and one of the sides is missing, you've got two sides and the other one's missing, you need to use Pythagoras' theorem, which states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. If we label the sides so that the hypotenuse we label C, in this case that's equal to X, and then the other two sides, it doesn't matter, are A and B, then we know that the square of this side plus the square of this side equals the square of that side. Okay, so if we put the values in, X squared equals A, which is 25 squared, plus B, which is 43 squared. Then we get our calculator out. Uh, 25 squared is 625, 43 squared, 1849, add those two together, we get 2474, and that's what x squared equals, so to find x we need to do the square root of 2474. So press the square root and the answer, and that gives us 49.73932046. Now, if it doesn't say to round the answer, I would always just write down what's on the calculator. There's no point, make, no need to make a mistake in rounding. Um, if it does ask you to round the answer to a, a suitable degree of accuracy, then 49.7, always go for three significant figures unless something is more apparent, like it's, it's closer to a whole number. Um, one other thing I want to say about Pythagoras is sometimes uh, if you're not very good at getting this right and forgetting this stuff it helps to draw a triangle with the squares on the sides. And then hopefully you remember that's what you've got to do. So this area here is 625 and this one here we worked out to be 1849 and this is 625 plus 1849 and then to get the length of the side we square root that because that's what the length of one side is now this is quite useful when you're doing ones where you're not finding the hypotenuse because it's sometimes difficult to remember that you've got to subtract but if you see the smaller square hopefully if you work it out wrong and you add the hypotenuse and the other side squared you'll think that's a bit strange having a bigger square than there should be. So sometimes it's good to draw a little triangle with the squares on the sides. That's if you're not good at getting this right first time.